Your name spelled with a K or a C? With a C. C. Yeah. A. T. H. E. R. I. N. E. I. N. E. Mm-hmm. I can tell you listen to our show. Thank you. Thank you. Because you had that all prepared for me. And Wilson, Wilson is going to be spelled W-I-L-S-O-N. That's yeah. correct, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. So, Catherine, let's just start with you. Um, you are very vocal. You are a communicator, and communication is very important to you. Yes. That's correct, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, you also have goals set for yourself, but they're of a very spiritual nature. Is that correct? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, you're also, you're another one who's involved in nature, aren't you? You like well, to go outside. Yeah, I do like to go outside. Not as much as I like to, but I do. <laughs> but you do, and you find solace in nature, don't you? Like when you're really stressed out, you go yeah. outside. Yeah, I do. You, you say you do it to, t- to get a breath of air, but really, honestly, it's to ground yourself. Okay. Right? It just makes you feel better? Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. Um, you have quite the nice little sarcastic sense of humor, too, don't you? I do. <laughs> you do. And you use it to make the points that you... You know, you think you might be a little too blunt when you're making a point, so instead you make it a joke? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. And that E on the end of your name means that you're just very involved. You're very much involved with the people around you and with your own life, aren't you? You try to stay very present with people? Uh, the one that's close to me, I don't, I don't do a lot of communication with people. Or family, my daughters and my son. But when you're with them, you you make sure you pay attention to them, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's more what I was getting at. So you would you're you're the type of woman that makes certain that she has one on one time with each person. Yeah. At least a few words. Just yeah, exactly. to check in. Yes, I do. You do. call it just to check in. I do. How you doing? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, perfect. Catherine Wilson. Well, he is very clever, and he pays attention to detail. And he is, you know, he is sensitive. Do you find sometimes he's a little overly sensitive? He's he's new. He's been here about six months. I've met him a couple times. But I think he's interesting, but um, he's kind of to himself because his wife died about a year ago, so I let him stay to himself, but I was just wondering would he be interested in me. Mm. Miss Lovelace. Let's go, let's go through the name here. Catherine, okay, listen so close I'm, here. The, the W name okay. is that he has a secret. He has a secret in his life. His attention to details... He does things because he thinks people need things done for them. He's like a handyman. Are you listening, Catherine? Mm Mm-hmm. And he has an L for sensitivities. So he's dealing with how sensitive he is about life because his S next to him is his education. So he's like an intelligent person, Catherine, of books, Catherine. Are you listening? Uh huh. But you, you're streetwise. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're you you learned so much from experiences in your life. He learned from books. Okay? okay. I want you to understand that. And his other O in his name makes him even more private about what's going on in his life. He's not going to share his emotions. Catherine, you share your emotions, girl. I do. <laughs> now, we have an N on the end of his name. He is assertive, so he gets angry at himself a lot. Okay? Uh, now, I know this sounds like, well, you just met him, and I'm telling you that he may look on the outside by appearances, but his other appearance that you're going to pick up because you have a spiritual nature is, you know, wandering, of course, 
whether or not he can be attracted to your life and fit in your life, and he doesn't even fit in his life. And you mentioned some of those things in the background because you already know some of those. But he was totally like a codependency with somebody, Catherine. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is what you don't want because you become very independent, Okay. Okay. Your family made you a codependent. You broke from them. You broke from you. You talk to your kids occasionally. So I hear in you independence. What I see in his name is codependency. Okay. I want you to think about that one because you don't want to take care of somebody. You don't want sure. to be a mama to a man because Catherine, on your timeline, that happened to you before. Remember? Mm-hmm. And you said, go home to mama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Wilson is a mama boy. So I'm only going to give you 50%. He could be a friend, but if he gets too close, he's going to let you be his mama. And that's not my Catherine. Sorry. All right. What do you think? What do you think? You know, you right about that, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm just looking at the letters. The letters were given to me by God in a meditation about 40 years ago, and I tested them. And I'm telling you right now, God is right on. He changed the names in the Bible. All he did was add a letter, subtract a letter. And I learned all the letters, exactly what he did with them, and I do that with them too. I want to give you something very interesting here, okay? Okay. Many years ago, this man, I'm calling it a childhood sweetheart situation, maybe high school. Can I go back yeah. that far with you? Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the dating was going really well. But, of course, you went on your journey and they went on theirs. Isn't that about right, Catherine? Yeah. And mm-hmm. every now and then, that thought comes across your mind. Remember? Remember that guy? Yeah, I seen him yesterday, two days ago. <laughs> I ran into him. <laughs> Catherine. There we go. Who am I? Who am I on the phone? Who am I? You know who I am? You know who I am? Well, I can't pronounce You know what I do? Uh Uh-huh. Huh? Catherine. (laughs) But he's with someone. But that was God. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh That was God. Really? Yes. Yes. Listen close here. God caused that to happen. Okay? Wow. And, and I he knew it. That. He said it in a way, because we just ran in each other into the store. Catherine, uh-uh. go girl, go girl. Come on, come on, girl. Get it on. Come on. Come on here. He, Listen close. He, uh-huh. God caused that to happen for a reason. God don't do nothing for nothing. God's always wow. got a reason. And I'm going to tell you, that is still alive. That's a lot of you and a lot of him. Yes. And that's been over 30 and years ago. Yeah. Girl, don't look at the clock. Throw that clock Love away. Where's the clock? Die. Throw it away. But he's Go ahead, True Love. You want to talk? Yeah, love yeah. doesn't die, Catherine. Yeah, but he's with someone. And I don't want to be stuck with fiddle. Catherine, you can't do you, what you're saying right now. You cannot do that because you're a godly woman. Yeah, now you be the godly woman and accept that God brought him there for a reason and God's going to bring him back because God knows that there's a love there, that y'all were meant to be together. Now, you stick with that and trust God, okay? Because I cannot give you anything that God hasn't given you, Catherine. You ever heard anybody say that? You're right, yeah. God gave me I'm a prophet, right. baby. Okay, you got me covered. So you just hang in there because love never dies. Wow. Okay? I know. Okay. okay. You you report back to us. This is really a good story, Catherine. Yeah, it is. I just met him two days ago out of 20 years, and we just ran into each other. And, and it, you know, it, would you please would you please just say... God did that. Just say it, Catherine. God did do that. Thank I wasn't you. Thinking, and I don't think he was thinking about me, but he, 
Yeah, we did. I mean, on Thanksgiving <laughs> Day. Catherine yeah. and Catherine. How did, I, how did I know that? How did I know that? Well, you didn't know Catherine. that, but, yeah. Yeah. Catherine. Uh-huh. It's called faith for a reason, right? Yeah. You believe in faith. I know. Oh, exactly. Know what yes, faith I is. Yeah. I know that you believe in miracles. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay, so so you can believe in a miracle for yourself, can't you? Yeah. You can believe that you can ask God for a miracle. Yes, I can. And you can have faith that your prayer is answered. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. So just sit back and wait for him to contact. He didn't contact me today, but... You know, he got somebody else, so I left it alone because I'll be trying to do the right thing. Catherine, yeah. you don't mm -hmm. say things like that. Okay. He got somebody else because God mm -hmm. sent him to you. So that means they're not really together because God intervened in your life, girl, with a miracle. Yeah, he did. God doesn't <laughs> make mistakes, Catherine. Oh, you know I know that. You know I know All that. All right. Let's hear that. <laughs> Let's do that. that. I'm wow. going to give you the secret, okay? Oh, Here's the okay. secret. Okay. He's already with you. Really? So you just need to have faith. Oh, I and do. And let him finish up his business. Uh-huh. Okay? And he's already with you, so do not say he's with somebody else. He is not. He is with you. Wow. Man. <laughs> I don't know what to say on it. <laughs> okay. Mean, yeah. Okay. We, we're going to write this one down here, Catherine, and we're going to listen to your report, and we love you very much for coming in. God loves you. And I love him. God, I know you do. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Thank y'all, okay. guys. Bye, Catherine. Bye. Oh, man. Miss True Love. <laughs> Is it getting, like, crazy or what? <laughs> it's getting a little crazy because as soon as I started with this one man that she had called to check on, right. Right. I realized it wasn't really worth me even finishing.